Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, we are gonna create a couple of foiled cards using stencils. We're using these awesome butterfly stencils from Waffle Flower Crafts, and we're gonna combine them with some gorgeous rainbow foil. To start off, I have the single butterfly stencil. This stencil is really cool because it has two parts, and I'm gonna use both those parts to create our card. I'm starting with this large stencil opening of the butterfly, just gonna position it here on an A2 panel of teal cardstock and ink blend over this with black soot. This is a heavyweight cardstock. I do recommend you use something heavyweight to hold up to the kind of moisture of the gel that we use, which is what allows you the uh, foil to stick to the cardstock. Just gonna quickly ink blend this with this black soot all over, being careful to hold it in places, especially like around the antenna where it can kind of lift up more. Um, I'm using a um, mini ink blending tool. Um, it catches a lot, so probably a brush would be even better if you have blush, a brush blending tool, that would be even better, I think, for this. But I, again, repositioned the butterfly and ink blended a second one just to kind of fill up the space a little bit more. So here we have our two blended butterflies, and now we're ready for the next part. So I'm gonna place that large stencil back over my ink blended butterfly. I'm gonna tape it in place. I am using micropore tape to hold everything in place. Then I'll put the insert inside, and this is what we're gonna use to make the beautiful kind of details in the wings. Now I'm gonna be using this transfer gel from ThermoWeb. Since I purchased this gel, they've made a new, or they have a new formula of this gel, and it's now called Transfer Gel Duo. And this new gel is really cool because it allows you to do this foiling without having to use a laminator. This old gel here still requires a laminator, but the new Duo gel, you can use a laminator, or you can just kind of press the, uh, foil over the transfer gel once you're done. So I just used the place, kind of used a palette knife and kind of spread the transfer gel as evenly as I could over that butterfly. Then I allowed it to dry completely. You can see how it's clear now. And now I'm ready to do the second butterfly. Now the drying does take a while. It can, it just varies. But even here in Arizona where I'm at, where it's very dry, it takes, I would say probably two hours. The thicker it is, obviously the longer it's gonna to take to dry. So now that I've finished that butterfly, I'm doing the second one. Again, just spreading the gel over as evenly as I possibly can with my palette knife. And once I have that butterfly done, I'll then remove my tape and remove the stencil and I will let this second butterfly dry completely. So now that both my butterflies are completely dry, you can see how clear they are, uh, I'm going to do my foiling. This is the exciting part. So I have this piece of transfer, uh, a transfer sheet, that's what they call the foil, and I have rainbow, which I think is really cool, and I just cut it basically a little bit bigger than an A2 panel, placed it over my uh, panel, and then put it inside a folded pieces piece of parchment and ran it through my laminator. Now that it's ran through, I can remove my uh, transfer sheet and you can see how pretty that looks. Isn't that awesome? I just love how this gel works with foil. It works really well and the stencils just make it super cool. So I have a sentiment here from the Essential Sentiment stamp set. I'm just gonna really simply finish this card by stamping it on the front of my panel in black soot again, just keeping my black very consistent. So there it is, that card is pretty much done. Now we're gonna move on to a second panel. Here I'm using the Butterflies background stencil. I'm going to place it over a second A2 panel of teal cardstock, and I will simply ink blend all these butterflies in black soot as well. So once I get all of them ink blended, I will then remove my stencil and we kind of have our base here. Now this stencil only has one part. So to do the foiling, I'm gonna actually just place the stencil back on my black butterflies, but this time a little bit offset. So a little bit to the right now, and you'll actually see a little bit of teal and that's kind of how I gauge if it's offset enough. And then once I get it in place, I'll spread my transfer gel all over the top of the stencil. Again, trying to keep it nice and as even as possible. It's okay if it's a little uneven, but it's smoother if you can get it really even. So here it is all spread out. I'll then carefully remove my tape and my stencil. And this panel is 
almost ready for boiling. We just have to let it dry completely. So I'm going to set that aside to dry. But you can kind of see the little black border, which I think is really cool. So here this is completely dry. The transfer gel is all clear. So I'm going to pop it in my carrier sheet. Again, that's just made out of kitchen parchment paper. Then I'll place my um, foil on top and then run it through my laminator. And again, with the new transfer gel, you don't have to have a laminator to do this foiling. Uh, I, I have the old transfer gel, but the new transfer gel duo requires no foil or no laminator, sorry. And here's our panel all done. I love the way that it turned out. Very simple, just simply by offsetting, you have that nice kind of depth from the shadow of the black. So now I'm moving on to my sentiment for this card. I used the Thank You Combo Set, stamped it onto the teal card stock in black soot, and then just die cut it out with the matching dies. To finish this card, I'll first adhere my butterfly panel onto an A2 top folding white card base. You could definitely use teal if you prefer. And I've already added some foam adhesive to the back side of my sentiment, so I'll just remove the backing on that, center it, and place it down on my card front. And that will actually complete this butterfly card. So I'll hold it up to the camera so you can get a good look. Hopefully you can see that little offset or shadow of the black soot. I really love how that adds some additional depth to those butterflies and a little extra detail. And here's our first card that we created with the single butterfly stencil. So pretty. Isn't that stencil so cool with that, that layer for the detail on the butterfly wings? I think that just makes a works really well especially for this technique i hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video if you have any questions about the products i used please check the links below in the description thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day